Hey guys, do you ever just remember a game that you've played years ago that you just love so much? Well, I'm having one of those moments of nostalgia right now. So the game I'm talking about is called Grim Grimoire for PlayStation 2, released in 2007. It's made by this publisher Vanillaware that made Odin Sphere and and a few other titles. I feel like it's underrated. I remember playing it back in the day in my middle school and high school days. It's so... It's so good, you guys. I don't know. First off, the story is up to par. It's very Harry Potter-ish. The professor slash headmaster's name is Gamaldor. You see the, the resemblance there. <laughs> and personally, I think the English voice acting is really good. I don't know, like maybe some people are picky and they, they want the, the sub over the dub, but I really like the dub version. I mean, I never played the subtitled version because I didn't know that there was that option. I'm pretty sure there was if you go to the settings and change it, but I just play on the default and I think it was still amazing. And I'll probably list a montage of the voice actors, the English voice actors featured in here and stuff. So I rewatched some other people's gameplay. I realized how good of a game it was for its time as well. It's I don't know. And if you guys don't want to play the game itself, you can actually look up the cutscenes on YouTube and that in itself is the, the whole story and you won't really miss anything out on just watching the cutscenes from that. Every interaction like that the characters talk to each other, whatever, is actually voice acted, said for you, so you don't have to read silently. The only times that some lines aren't voiced is just the save screen and maybe the actual gameplay of it. And the gameplay itself is, I believe it's called like real-time strategy, but yeah, it's one of those strategy games. So you play as this character, your main character is Lilith Blonde. She's uh, aspiring to learn magic and all that. You gain magic spell things through grimoires and you add these grimoires to your collection as you progress through the game. You gain different grimoires throughout your gameplay to summon creatures to do your bidding for you. <laughs> Your goal is to protect your runes and your little areas where you summon them and all that while simultaneously destroying your enemy's forces. And I like that sort of gameplay where you have to really think about when to send out your forces and build up your defense and all that. And I replayed this game like so many times. I never even got bored of it replaying it again. And that's how good it is because I do like the gameplay itself and the story even though some people might not like going through the story again. The story itself is really good that you wouldn't mind going through it again while also going and playing and stuff. I don't think I really skip through the story that much when I want to replay it again. And it's one of those stories that when you replay it, you kind of, you know, see it again and see the hints and little foreshadowing from the beginning and all the way throughout because at the end then you realize, oh my gosh, this is what happened. You can see all these little things that progress through it and then you can see all the characters develop the way they are and their motives and it's so interesting. I don't know, I love the character depth to them. The characters all have their own goals and whatnot and it's cool to see how they all try to go toward their goals and then see it play out through the story. And my favorite character is the devil teacher, Professor Advocate. I'm not going to eat you, even if I had picante sauce and mild seasonings. May I ask you something? Of course! Answering ignorant questions is part of my job description. Please go on. Now take that sorcery, Grimoire. Let's begin instruction about an intensely fearful magic. And, well... I don't know, I feel like I have like a little crush on him, so... I don't know. Okay, I'm sorry. He's very... he's very... Yeah. <laughs> his voice actor is really, is really too good. And his English voice actor also does the English dub for, for Sasuke from Naruto. I mean, I never really fangirled over Sasuke, but... 
I, I don't know, but it's so weird because like that, because Sasuke's voice and and the this character's voice are really different. Like I don't know, I guess it's the talent of this voice actor. He can do a range of voices, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's that's all. I just wanted to fangirl about this game. If any of you guys ever actually played it, then please, please fangirl with me. And apparently, when I had the the game, I don't know where it is now, but when I had the game, there was like a little flyer that said that there was gonna be a Grim Grimoire 2 and I don't know I I looked this up online it might have never made it to the West who knows I'm just sad I would have loved to play a sequel to this game this alone itself it, it stands alone it, it's pretty good yeah 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 okay bye